Well, let's check in with Christopher Nunley for the forecast. Christopher, we saw that snow this morning, but is it going to stick around for the rest of the day? So not here in Seattle. We are starting to see those conditions improve in terms of the snowfall in downtown Seattle, but we are left with those cold temperatures. 34 degrees out there. Look at that north northeasterly wind at 22 miles per hour. That is pulling in that cold air not only into Seattle, but all of western Washington. 31 in Everett, 29 in Bellingham. Temperatures, folks, they're not going anywhere this afternoon. Please grab that long sleeve, that jacket, layer up the puffer coat before you step outside. North northeasterly winds across the area that is pulling in that colder air. It's also making those temperatures feel even colder than what we are sitting at. It feels like 22 right now in Seattle. 15 is that feels like temperature in Bellingham. 17 in Friday Harbor is what it feels like right now. Now those north northeasterly winds, they're bringing in the colder temperatures, but they also bring in that drier air. So that moisture we saw across King and Snohomish counties earlier this morning, the I-5 corridor where we saw one to two inches of snow. Well, the northeasterly winds are starting to eat away at that moisture, so we're just left with that cloud cover, a couple snow flurries, but many areas have started to dry out for central parts of Puget Sound early on this Wednesday afternoon, but we have an exception. We have a little surface low that has spun up on that Arctic cold front. This surface low is actually just near the southwest Washington coast, and that's wrapping some moisture along the I-5 corridor from Chehalis up to Olympia. Olympia. So notice southern parts of Puget Sound are starting to see a rain snow mixture right now, and that snow is only going to move farther north into western parts of Washington. So southern parts of Puget Sound, western parts of the Kitsap Peninsula and pretty much all of the Olympic Peninsula will start to get in on some light snow later on this evening. This is around 5 p.m. Maybe even a couple additional flurries moving to Seattle and Everett. No accumulations are expected here in King or Snohomish County. No additional accumulations. But that's not the case farther west. West of Puget Sound, that snow continues this evening, 9 p.m. It'll continue into the overnight hours into our Thursday morning before gradually starting to taper off. Snow amounts are going to be pretty impressive. Don't look at the exact numbers. These will change, but a widespread one to three inches of snow expected for the Olympic Peninsula. Pretty much all of Highway 101 going to see accumulating snow. And as you work your way into some of the foothills, the Olympic Mountains, four to seven inches of snow are possible by tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. So some widespread accumulating snow. And because of that, there's a winter weather advisory in effect for coastal Washington and pretty much all of the Olympic Peninsula until 4 a.m. on Thursday morning. Currently, it does not extend into parts of Mason and Thurston counties. We will keep an eye on that. They could get upgraded to a winter weather advisory. Temperatures cold. We're going to stay in the 20s and 30s for the northwest interior. Some flurries possible not only there, but here in Seattle. No additional accumulations are expected. It's going to be cold. Better snow chances for Olympia, Shelton, even Allen and Belfair later on this afternoon, as well as the coast with temperatures staying in the 30s. Even colder for central and eastern Washington. Those temperatures staying in the 20s for highs and our high temperatures going to be even colder tomorrow and on our Friday. A new low high daily record temperature possible for our Thursday. The previous 36 degrees were only expected at 35. We do climb back in the 40s on Monday and the overnight lows chilly 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 bring the pets inside practice those safe heating measures as well 19 on our Friday in Seattle. That means some of the outlying areas could fall closer to 15 degrees. A new record daily record low temperature Thursday and Friday expected at SeaTac. Temperatures climb back toward freezing over the weekend. Another chance for lowland snow late Saturday into Sunday morning. Not expecting any accumulations at this time.